Good evening. What I have here tonight is these are back ribs off of beef. And I have some pork belly, which I'm going to make some burnt ends. So we're going to spice this up. And use a little bit of beef bone broth as a binder. Rub that in. This is real good for you too. This this bone broth is real good for you. You don't have to pull the, the membrane off of beef. I actually got a pretty good deal on these today. $19. Nice. Get it rubbed in. Nice binder. Nice fatty stuff. Okay, I like to be liberal with my spicing. Nice rub I made. You've seen it on my videos before. With beef, you know, I have specific rubs. Beef is one that's mostly salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic. Now, just for that, just for this meaty part on the top, just to, there we go, spritz of the garlic. That moved around pretty good. Alrighty, let's just get her spiced up again. This side. So you use a lot of seasoning, a lot of spice when you're, you know, be liberal with your stuff. You know, I know on these hard times and everything, it's hard to to buy a lot of things. But be liberal with this good deliciousness. This is the most important side here. Give it a spritz. That's just about enough. Make those wonderful fun sounds that we all love. When you're a man, you never outgrow it. There we go. Yeah, put a little bit more. Look at how much that's bringing out the color already of that beef. All right, nothing wrong with this. Pork belly's right there. And I'm going to take my glove off. Pause you guys. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll just stick with you. Okay. I'm going to grab a knife. Let's see. Go ahead and dump these out. Yeah, these are beautiful. I'm going to prepare them for burnt ends. So let me get a knife. I think I'll go with this one. Okay. You're going to want to cut about one inch squares. Perfect. So I'm about to do these burn ends. This is a binder. It's mustard. No worries. It's good. Get that all rubbed in. You want to rub that in real nice. Cover them with the mustard. The mustard will not show up in your flavors. It's just a binder. It's a wonderful thing to be able to do that. I'm not a big fan of mustard, but uh, my wife is. Uh, I like to use it for cooking and stuff. That's nice and covered, coated. Yeah, it's a beady. Just going to make sure that it's, you know, you get all your, you want your bindings to, to all be, smells good with that pork. And then this is another home blend. You want to cover it. And I'm shake, shake, shaking it with you, baby. So shake your booty while you're cooking. Your mama gave you that. Go ahead and shake it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we're going to turn these. 
dum 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 do 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 Hey, not a fan on this one. You'll be surprised when it's cooked and done, though. Ho, ho, ho. It's going to be like a big old piece of candy. And, uh, you know, I'm just bringing you along on this boring part here. But I think it's important that you see, you know, it's real important to get this liberally done. There we go. Cover it again. Just trying to get as much as I can covered. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, that's pretty, pretty much as good as that's going to happen. I'm going to let these sit for a bit before I... I'm going to get the coals going... And all that. Oh, nice. Okay. And uh, I'll be uh, bringing you guys back when it's all ready to put on. I'll put a little, since that one's so thick, I'll get a little bit more on there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we'll be back. Oh, yeah, that's ready to go. We're going to do this tonight. Look at these. Oh, so nice. Bone side down. I'm using uh, pear, pear wood. After your meat has set, if you're using beef, it's a little secret. You want a good bark, especially you guys that use the Traegers and stuff like that. Put a little bit of instant coffee on the top, and you'll get your bark. Nice, look at that. You hear that wood just sizzling. And the dogs are barking. There's some kind of siren going off. So, hey man, it's live and it's great. So, I hope you enjoy this. We're going to be back. I have burnt ends. It's going to go on too here in a little bit. And kielbasa. I'm about to go out and pull those off. The beef, you see me shake? Okay, we're going to use just a little bit of teriyaki. For sweetness, teriyaki goes very good with beef. Nice. A little bit of that. We're going to put a little bit of beef broth, bone broth. Just a strip, just like that. Now, mug root beer. Very nice. Now I'm going to go out and I'm going to get the ribs real quick. Look at these. Mm -hmm. Caramelized separation and meat side down. I'm going to wrap these up. You see my Coors over there? Because it's it's perfect for barbecuing. And I'm going to wrap these up and put them back on for about an hour. I'm going to pull these out. Oh, yeah, look at that separation. Ooh. And that broth. Mm. I don't want these to fall apart. I didn't leave them in very long. Gorgeous. Yes. All oh, perfect. Pull that out. Ooh, yeah, nice. I saved it. Okay. Let's get this one out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. Okay. Pull it out. Just like this.
This one gets turned over. Just like that. Got another piece of pear on there. Smoking up real nice to finish this. I'm about to take these off. And they're going to be resting in this bowl while I prepare uh, other things. Oh, they're gorgeous. No burning. Mm, look at that. All that meat in between those bones. Look at these. Oh my gosh, look at them. Mm-hmm. Pork belly burn-ins. Just putting them on now. Going, sticking with the uh, pear. So stay with us, guys. Look at these burnt ends. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take them in real quick. Uh, look at this kielbasa. Three different styles. Oh my gosh. Is that not beautiful? It's dark out here. The elk were out in this area last night behind our place and in front of it. So, uh, oh, it's spooky out here sometimes. Uh, anyway, look at these. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna shut you down for a second and uh, we'll get back with you. Cause I'm gonna uh, show you what you do now. Coming right back at you. You're gonna need, this is, this is butter. This is real butter. Put a little bit there. A little bit there. Come on, get off. Um, there. Move this over a little bit. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is locally sourced honey. And I'm, oh yeah, very liberal. Okay. Get the melty butter. This is a local barbecue sauce. Delicious barbecue sauce. Original. And uh, it's like nine bucks a bottle, so it better be good. I actually like it. So, this is going on these... I can get it to pour. Look at me. Oh my gosh. I know it's almost it's like you're making a dessert. It's so pretty. Now, for the finale of this. I must just tell you, what do we have, ladies and gentlemen? We have dark brown sugar. Be very liberal with your brown sugar. It's going back on the grill. And uh, I got dirty fingers and everything. Look at that. Mm. Mm -mm. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. And look at those sausages. Oh. So this is this part of it. Thank you guys for, for being there. And thank you for the new subscribers too. I, I appreciate all of you. I really do. Oh, so beautiful. And it's kibasa time. That's all dark out here and everything. Oh, look at those. Oh, gosh. I'm going to get the kibasas off. I got a little bit of seasoning on here. Uh, it's just gonna, there's three different kinds of kielbasa here. And, uh, you know, we don't know which one is which. Don't care. Put these on here. Oh, hell yeah. This is just beautiful. It's wonderful. Gotta get it wrapped up. Uh, I'm so happy you guys come with me. It's all natural. This is what we're doing. This is just a guy 
living halfway into the wilderness, taking you along on a little cooking venture. Got my crazy looking little hose there. This is uh, what's scary for me at night is uh, you can't even see it even with the light, but it's all forest right there. So anyway, again, I'm very grateful for the uh, people who watch and subscribe. Pork belly burn ends. They are done. I'm going to collect them. We're not even going to eat them until tomorrow. Uh, what I tried to do here today, tonight, is I cooked several different things. This is going in this nice little... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Nice little bath of the barbecue sauce I used. It's actually a little bit chilly tonight. Hard to believe, though. Last year we had like a foot of snow out here, so I'll take this. I can hear the elk walking around behind me out there in the bush behind me. And it doesn't bother me. So these are pork belly burnt hens. I'm glad you guys are supporting me and coming along with me. If you could eat these, I would feed them to you. Look at that. Oh, man, it's like candy. <laughs>